okay so let's continue and and okay for this one so we have the adjoint tangent function f x y is this and g is the marginal tangent function of y so what is g so here marginal tangent function of y so what is this so this is we just put this okay that's like a y y so this actually is just the f at the source probability at the source x right we for fixed y we just uh, add those x so x from at all those x right so this is uh, marginal density function of y okay uh, okay so here let's say here the fixed y finds those x uh, so this equal okay if x y is 15 y dx then what is up bound uh, what is the low bound upper bound okay uh so let's say so here we need to draw this region so uh, the the x y the region is y equal x square so y equal x square y equal x y equal x so just this part right okay so here <laughs> so for in this integration y is fixed for this is fixed y so y from where to where or y is just from 0 to 1 yeah. for this fixed y so x from this x smallest x and to largest x so this x is y right this line y equal x this is y equal x square so for fixed y y equal x square so x equal radical y okay so this is a marginal that's the function okay so here y is constant for this integration y is constant so this equal just 15 y multiply radical y minus y right and the range of y is between 0 to 1 okay so this problem we want to find conditional values of y giving y like giving x equals this x so we want to find this like uh, conditional values of y giving x is x so x is fixed so we want to find the values of this y so we need to know this uh, this mm, this distribution or density function of this y okay okay so now let's say for for when x is fixed so let's say y so let the y can change like x is fixed okay so this region is x from 0 to 1 and y from x so y equal x to x plus 1 so this is y equal x this is y equal x plus 1 okay so, okay so we know uh, this this area is this this part right x from 0 to 1 y from this from x to x plus 1 okay okay so for giving x equal x let's say giving x equal x 
to the y just from this x to x plus 1, right? So the this uh, density function, so what is density function for this? For y and x equal x, what is density function? So this density function is just uh, is original density function, which is 2x, right? So we say density, we also denote this term. Y density function for for y for this given x. So this is just the, we say just equal f x y for so here x fixed. Uh, but uh, if you put this just uh, just equal this, then we say totally. Total, total, just the conditional, conditional prob, uh, conditional distribution, right? Totally is not equal one. So we want to make this as one. So this equal this, so make this one. So divide by so total probability for this part. So total probability for this part is just uh, let's say so y from x to x plus 1, right? And uh, this then probability d 2x. Then here, just say, uh, add the ch so change the dy, right? Mm. OK, so this equal, <laughs> so here just the uh, the notation concept, right? So f x y is two x, okay. And this integrate out is two x time one, right? Okay. So this means <laughs> uh, the this density function, conditional density function, is a constant. So we say y is uniformly distributed from x to x plus 1. So we can say these things follow a uniform distribution from, between, from x to x plus 1. So here x is uh, fixed. Okay, so once we know this, then for uniform distribution, so we, we have this result. Like for uniform distribution from A to B, uh, suppose X follow uniform distribution from A to B, then this uh, like X, you see X is midpoint, right? And values is b minus a square over twelve. Okay, so this values uh, is just the okay. So we can say v answer is just the uh, one over this length is one so one over twelve. So okay, so just one over twelve. So for variables, we here we just say we only consider two variables. So if we have, but, but in statistics, we usually have many, uh, many uh, data size. Now we can regard as each data, if each piece of data as a learning variable. But anyway, like here we check like a. Uh, Linear combination for many variables. So we have this for E. Expectation is just the just the combination for those expectations. But for values, so values 
e cor so each square a i squares values and a plus x i x j cool values okay so we also can say like a, uh, if covalence for x x covalence for x and x so this is just a value okay valence of x okay so let's say covalence for x y is thus like equal e x y minus e x e y uh, and what is the values for x values for x equal e uh, x square minus e x square right so from here we can say if if x and y is the same then the covalence x x become values okay so now we have such a problem let's say uh, so a like a s we want to find a covalence for c1 c2 but c1 c2 is just a combination for uh, c1 is x plus y what is c2 uh, uh, C2 denotes the size, let's say, size of common before the application of the time. And uh, okay, so it says like uh, uh, we just say that x is the soldier claim, like a cost, right? Uh, surgical claim, and y is the cost of hospital hospital stay so we have two variable x and y so we have those things uh, and so uh, here is c1 is original total total cost uh, but uh, we have 20 uh, percent of uh, let's just say 20 percent so uh, so charge uh, so c2 so what is C2? C2 actually equal uh, C1 times 20% 20% surcharge. So meaning 20 original charge plus 20% or just the 1 plus 20% of the C1. Okay? Or oh, this just equal 1.2x plus 1.2y okay okay so now we want to find this covalence for c1 c2 so equal covalence for uh, c1 x plus y and c2 is 1.2x plus 1.2y uh, so this is a covalence so common is just a like a multiplication is so, so x covalence x and 1.2x so this is just equal 1.2 values of x so plus uh, a this and this take a coefficient of 1.2 so covalence x y okay so plus this covalence y and x and x y the same right so covalence for y and x y and x and x y the same okay plus so then this is 1.2 uh, values of y okay uh, okay uh, so, so, uh, so this
says two one point two so Vx plus two point four x xy plus one point two vy. Okay, so let's check the con given condition. So, uh, v oh, so we know z x z x square. So we know v x, right? We know v x, and uh, we know v y. But we don't know covariance for x y. So covariance for x, y, so we need to check this from here. So valence x plus y, so we have this, right? Valence of x plus y equal valence of x plus, uh, so plus, so just the values, just a square. So plus a two uh, x y a lot because x y y x values covalents x y y x the same. So this become two covalents of x y plus v y. So this equal eight. Uh, so from here we can find a covalent. So then we can find find these things like covalent C one C two. Okay. Okay. So for two y balls, uh, we also can consider transformation, or from two y balls we can produce some new y balls. Like uh, let's say like uh, this one, like uh, we let uh, we from we know t one t two we can have a new variable x x this x is this two t one plus t two. So we want to find the density function of x. We want to find density function of x. So for such a problem, we can find the cumulative function first. Let's say we so we. Find the then use the derivative because this, in this case, just that this, this all the function are continuous or differential bill. Okay, so we at the first we just find so we find this fx. So this fx cumulative function is just the x less than x. So we f find this probability. Okay, so now let's say how can we find this probability? Uh, P x less than x. So equal what is x? x is 2 t1 plus t2 less than x. Okay, so we so so we know t1 t2 follow some uniform uh, fo follow some mm, joint distribution or <coughs> mm. excuse me so we have density function for t1 t2 so we want to find this probability so we say this is just those integration right so like integration so density function for t1 t2 dt1 dt2 right okay so here x is fixed uh, x is by now x here we regard it as fixed so this function is uh, about x 
the end of the derivative is the tensor function for, for x. Okay, so what is the uh, uh, tensor function for t1, t2? So let's just say, okay. So this t1, t2, the lifetime of t1, t2 has the they have common density functions. Their density functions are thus. Okay. And they are independent. So here independent means uh, the probability is multiply, right? A and B, P A and B, P A and B equal P A times P B. So for density function, this means uh, just the equal uh, f t one. So we just say this is just the density function multiplied together. So this equal uh, negative t one. This is density function t one. Then density function for t two. Okay. Okay. So this is density function. So this is f t one t two. So the key point, so we wanted to find, do this, so we want to find this double integration. So what is the D, what is the integration uh, region, D? Okay, so we need to check, uh, let's just say, uh, check this range, so here, suppose this is T1, T2, T1, T2. So T1, T2, both of them are from zero to infinity, right? Okay. Okay. So t one t two. So just thus from from uh, from zero to infinity. So then, uh, the, uh, we want to find that is a where what is probably the uh, so the condition that two t two plus t T two or uh, two T one plus T two is less than x. So we let this equal x. So if equal x, this suppose this, this line is two T one plus T two equal x. Okay. So less than x. So this means we just want to find the probability for this part, okay, for this part, okay, uh, so we, we know, so, okay, so this integration, so x, or the t1, so from 0 to this t1, so this t1 is t2 equals 0, right, so this equal x over 2, one then for fixed t1 so what is d what is t2 so t2 from zero from this from here to here so for fixed t1 so t2 from zero to x minus uh, two t1 Right, uh, so this is the e negative t one t two uh, d t two. Okay, so by now this is uh, just the double integration problem. So let's say let's so this equal so t one from zero to x over two. And we, p we, so it says in this integration about t two t one is a constant. So we need, we can take it out. So let's say uh, from zero to a is negative t d t. Mm. Uh, so this one we know this integration is one minus z negative zero, right? Zero is one. So one minus is negative a, right? So this equal 
1 minus e negative uh, a. So negative a. Okay. Okay. So 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 this one so become easy. Okay. Okay. So e negative t one. Minus so e negative x e t one so d t one so for this integration so, so easy right <laughs> okay so we get this integrate out this is a function of x. So this is a cumulative function. So if we use the derivative, so we get the density function of this this new variable x. So once we have this density function of x, so we can do anything, right? We can find the mean or find the values, right? Okay. So this, those problems are the same. Like, uh, so let's, uh, let's say like here, we want to find the density function of this new variable x. So what is the x? So x denotes the ratio of a two, uh, ratio of claims to premiums. Uh, so this x is just, uh, let's say, uh, this, uh, so we can say, like, we have two variables, x, y. We want to find a density function for x plus y. So here, x divided by y, x over y, right? Uh, OK, so let's say, so, so suppose this annual premium, we regard this as a variable p. So there's a p uh, for exponential distribution with mean 2. and uh, this one claim we do not maybe as C. This C is an exponential uh, landing variable with mean one. Okay. Ah. Uh, so we this x is a p over c. X is a p over c. So we want to find the density function for this. So for such a problem. We just find a cumulative function, right? What is x less than x? So find this function. Then density function is just this function's derivative. So how can you find this function? So we say this equal. What is x? So p over c less than x. So, so what is p? What is c? So p is uh, exponential distribution. With the mean is 2. So a, p is from 0 to infinity. And c is also from 0 to infinity. Okay, so uh, for what is what is p, p over c uh, less than x? So we just let this equal. Uh, 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 I'm sorry, less. Uh, so we just let this let them equal equals a p. Let's say. So we get this line, right? So here, this line is p over c, we can say p over c equals this x. So here, x is fixed. OK, so this equals where is less than, OK? Where is less than? So this line split this, this leading into two parts. So which part is less than? So we can we can say like this line is equal. This 
thing. Ah, uh, so if okay, so if so here the if we go this way, the p like let's go this way, like we fix uh fix this c. Let us see, let the p become big. Then p over c will larger than x, right? So we can say p over c less than x should be this part. Here is a p over c is less than x, right? Okay. Okay. So this integration is so equal. So we say uh, this equals uh, p from zero to infinity. Uh, and then once we fix this p. Then, then this C from uh, this C, so C uh, is really, let's say P over C equal X so C, mm, P over C equal X, so C equal P or X, right? Yeah. So this this C is from P over X to infinity. Okay. Uh, okay. So what then? There's a density function. Join the density function. So, so they are independent. Uh, okay. So the density function is just a multiple multiplication for those dens two density functions. So P uh, P is uh, exponential function with landing of uh, with means two. So P follows this. Uh, uh, let's see. So this is density function for exponential distribution. So mean is one over over lambda. So here mean is equal to means lambda is one over two. Okay. So p is mean is one over two. So this is this one over two is negative lambda is negative lambda p. Okay. And q ah no um, c. I'm sorry. C is means one, so C is just the negative C, negative C, okay? Okay, so for such integration, say, for dp, so here for dc, all those p is constant, so we put this constant. And then uh, integrate out is negative c. Is negative c integrate out? So we say from a to infinity is negative x x. Uh, this just equal is negative a. So this equal is negative p over c. Uh, p over x, yeah, d, d, dp. So here x is a constant, p is a uh, landing variable. So we can put them, put this together, uh, half, so equal, e. so here we can, p over c is, uh, is 1 over xp, so this equal v we take a negative uh, odd, negative so it's a half plus one over x p d p okay okay so for this integration from zero to infinity uh, is negative lambda x dx this is just equal one over lambda Okay, so this one, let's say, so here is equal half, 
and this integrated art just uh, wow oh, wow there's a crazy shit okay okay so simplify a little bit ah, so half so here maybe we just multiply 2x yeah. oh uh, half 2 multiply so that's equal 1 plus uh, 2 over x right okay so multiply x x x plus 2 okay so this is a cumulative function then you use the derivative we get a density function Okay, uh, so this is for two variables, so we, we can say like from two variables, we can produce some um, new variable. So typically we have x, y, we can find x plus y and x divided by y. So they are density function. So mathematically we say exponential distribution is, um, is easy. Yes. Uh, so, uh, s because the integration is easy, so for other other density function, we c we can have similar problem. We can have like x follow uniform distribution, y follow uniform. So what what is x plus y? What is x or y? We also can have such a problem, but uh, maybe the integration uh, is a little bit tough. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so we can, so this, uh, we finished part two, so we can stop here.